And of course, I don't know whose intro it is. It's my intro! Yay! Hello, everybody! Oh, wow! How's it going, Matt? How's it's it going, going, audience? It's, it's been like forever since the last time, hey. as always. Hey, I was talking to the other Matt. <laughs> oh god, why is What other Matt? Uh, my other Matt? Uh, maybe there's not a Matt. You, you have a left know. Matt and a right Matt, and then you have to. Then are you? Then it's like, a, well, are you left matted or right matted? <laughs> there's just too many like Matt. Candidness. Oh man. I'm an idiot. I just walked into fire. Well, that's not good. I, so, oh. like many other times when it's been a while since um, I've played this game slash recorded this with you, <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going. Um, but that's okay. I, I kind of find it fun that I just get lost and then don't know where I'm going. And then eventually <laughs> I figure it out. But by that point, that's when we stop recording and then I, we don't record for uh, another Yeah, that's, that's why we need to like set It's like the cycle. It's the cycle. It's yeah. the cycle. It'll never end. It's a um, circle. This is not the right way. Here, it's the, do you still have the coordinates for like where you're, where you're supposed to be going? Uh, no, no, maybe. Okay. I don't know. I, 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 I remember I, I like, gave you a general idea. I think, wait, you got to the things before, didn't you? I've gotten there many times, yeah, many a times. The thing I just die to the blazes every time I get there. Right, okay. And then I have to find my way back, so. It's right. Uh, we're, we're, we're good. Okay, it's morning. Good, good, good. Okay, so I died last time and lost pretty much everything to my name, so that's fun. Um, <laughs> welcome to part 800,000 of verses. Oh, yeah. The ultimate. <laughs> the ultimate verses that will go on forever. The ultimate verses. It'll never end. It'll never end. That's, right. the, that's, the, that's the catch. It'll be like 90. It'll be like 90 years old. <laughs> Hello, kitties, and welcome oh to part 9022 of Minecraft Versus. Minecraft hasn't been updated in like literally like 25 years. We're still going. We're running this on our <laughs> 2007 oh, no. Windows PC and MacBooks over here. Now, now it, in the years since then, Apple's g g been eaten by bear. <laughs> but not a bear, just just uh, the bear. Yeah, the bear corporation, exactly. Oh man. All right, all right. Uh, so, what have you been up to lately, man? See any good movies? Play any good games? Hit any um, bad Baby people? Baby Driver is a really good movie. I saw I, that. That's like the best movie I've seen in like, a really long time. Yeah, um, I liked it quite a bit as I, well. Yeah, that, that was so good. Um, a friend of mine hasn't seen it, and I'm trying to keep trying to convince her to get to see oh, it. Really? It's, like, it's apparently it's out on like iTunes and stuff now, so you can just watch it whenever. And I'm like, I did not know this. Yeah, it's been so. for a little bit at this point. Yeah. So that's pretty neat. Uh, I should watch it at some point. Last night, um, I watched the South Park movie, Bigger, Longer, and Uncut. It right. came out in like 1999. Right, right. Um, but the reason why I watched it, it's actually for a very specific reason, because at my school here, there are some students that are turning that into a musical, which I mean, it already <laughs> was a musical because there was like a bunch of songs, right? right. Um, but they're making it for the stage, basically, and performing it like at the end of October. Oh, and as part of a class I'm in, I'm covering that. Mm -hmm. Like as as it goes on and making a giant narrative piece out of it. Right. So I was like, well, you know, if I'm going to these rehearsals on Thursdays and Sundays and stuff that and not being a part of, it, I should at least know, like, remember the movie, you know? Yeah. Uh, so I, I mean, I remembered most of it, right? But like, I didn't know every detail, and I totally forgot that there was a song that Satan sang called "Up There," and it's like, oh, uh, I don't want to live in hell anymore, you know? Even though I'm a bad guy, like, you need bad to be good anyway. So like, that means I'm pretty good, right? <laughs> I, I like forgot that whole song existed, so that was pretty funny. And and I'm still very uh, South Parkless. I've never really. Well, I watched a couple episodes with my friend, like literally years ago. Besides that, I've right. had pretty much no exposure to the show. Yeah, There's I mean, always... I watched the new season because the new season came out this week, dating the episode. Um, <laughs> the mm -hmm. new season came out this week, like the first episode, and it was like okay. Um, right. The this show, the this show's definitely become mediocre at this point. Yeah, I was gonna but say that's... I heard a lot of people saying like they're very disappointed. I don't know, like something maybe it was like the season in general, the, the season finale. Is, is that the thing that came out? Um, no? Well, what happened was this is in. I mean, I made a video about this, but it's not on YouTube because copyright claims. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but seasons nineteen and twenty were serialized. Yeah. Which was very different from the past ones. So mm -hmm. season nineteen was really good, actually. Yeah. Um, probably the best season they've done in a long time. But season twenty, they kind of took the constant narrative like too far and so what happened was is it kind of like you watched an episode and it was just like these little minor things happened and it didn't feel like funny there was no like huge punchline to any episode no, it was just bad. a bunch of small jokes building to this bigger thing and then by the time you get to the last episode it just kind of fizzles off yeah. like most of their multi-part episodes that's too bad. where they can't really think of a way to end it so it just kind of right. peters out 
I mean, not that I have, like, a valid opinion on this at all, but at least I, like, just from what I hear, like, at least I give them credit for, like, trying new things instead of just doing the same thing over and over again. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, that's pretty I, cool. I, I find it hilarious. Like, when you get read interviews or watch interviews with Matt Stone and Trey Parker, they're like, you know, like, most shows want to end on a high note. We're like, nah, we're, we're just going <laughs> to keep going and until, like, you know, we run this thing into the ground and everyone's mad at us. And I think that's, I, th- I, I find it, like, almost honorable in a way that they're just willing that's to hilarious. accept that. I also feel like the opposite too, to be honest. I feel like a lot of shows just keep going until they're just like being the oh, dead yeah. horse, you know? Yeah. I, I would agree. I think it's better for a show to end like at a, at a high oh, point. Of course, but yeah. like, um, I, I think it's cool that they're like resigning to it. You know what I mean? It's not like yeah. our corporate superiors are making us do it. Yeah. Like, nah, true. we're just like, this is, this is South Park. We're going to, we're going to run this thing into the ground. It's like, Yay. okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, and then, yeah, so that, that's a thing. Uh, then other TV was BoJack Horseman. I love that show. Mm-hmm. Um, that new season came out. It was really good. I remember you saying that you hadn't seen it or yeah. like was trying to get into it or someone was trying uh, yeah, to Yeah, I watched you. an episode and I just thought, I was, eh, but I'm told that's a show. Did that you watch like, the pilot? Uh, probably. I don't remember. Yeah, the pilot's not good. <laughs> yeah. It, like many shows, like the first episode is usually not very good. The only mm-hmm. like really good TV show I can think of where the pilot is like phenomenal is Breaking Bad. Really? I was thinking I lost. I really like the pilot of Lost. Uh, I didn't watch Lost, so good. I wouldn't know. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, I I heard fantastic things about it. Uh, mm-hmm. I just haven't watched it myself. Yeah, the end is very controversial, but uh. Yes, so I've heard. <laughs> but uh, I I still thought it was really good. I I enjoyed it quite a bit. Yeah. Um, I also saw it the other day. That was I an heard interesting. Fantastic things about that. Yeah, yeah. it was really good. A lot, like, it's, it's some mixed things too. A lot of people are saying it's kind of like the like they have spoopy clown, but then the rest of the movie just kind of like typical horror movie. It's they they throw a lot of cool curveballs in there that I've like never really seen before, or at least not in a long time, anyways. So I, I thought it was pretty good. That's cool. Yeah, it's perfect. I'm also uh, working on a. Um, um, a different video that I've never done before, uh, where I'm gonna pretty much make a, an entire giant synopsis of the movie, and just, um, I'm gonna call it, like, spoil everything and spoil the entire movie while having, like, stupid little MS Paint art in it. That's good, I like yeah. that. Yeah, I've always, like, I've always wanted to do something like that. I've always wanted to do something with movies, because I do watch, like, a lot of movies. I'm normally at the theater, yeah. like, four times a month, so. Yeah. But it's very time-consuming. I spent two hours yesterday, and only, only pretty much got through the, uh, very intro of the movie. <laughs> As you, become, as you become like more like like gaming and movies and stuff, what does the LPs stand for in your name then? <clears throat> well, I might just change it to Unoriginally Chris. But nice. We'll I mean, see what happens. Unori- uh, unoriginally Chris, let's poop. <laughs> let's poop! Yeah, I'll turn it to let's poop together. Um, okay. I don't, I'm kind of like just backing off. use that off. sound effect for like your brand new <laughs> channel intro, you know. Every video starts with... <laughs> hey, what's up everybody? It's Chris here. <laughs> Why is that poop? Uh, yeah. There's poop everywhere. Yeah, I've okay. pretty much backed off of Let's Plays for the most part. I'm kind of done with that. I'm pretty much just in streaming at this point. I mean, I'm still... Fun, yeah, there's some things I'm like going to Let's Play still and still kind of in the midst of, but I'm pretty much done uh, my last few games, I think. Yeah, it, the the landscape is changing. Mm-hmm. It's fun. Well, it's, it's I think that's cool, time. like, you know, watching, like, the YouTube environment, if you will, yeah. like, change. Um, to different kinds of videos and then whether you like choose to go with that or not like you can still do great things like uh, Even some of the older youtubers are still doing some of the stuff They've always done but still managed to yeah. succeed, but that's cool It blows my mind that like game grumps became as big as they did and are still like growing as big as they are when you know Like let's yeah. plays are like very not very like popular anymore Yeah it's weird. I, I, I don't know. I think it works just because the focus isn't on the game itself. Yeah, it's more yeah. just like an improv comedy podcast almost. Yes. But I feel like that's a lot of Let's Plays, though, to be fair. But I guess there's not a whole lot of, like, duo Let's yeah. Plays. Maybe maybe that's why it's, like, so hugely popular. Yeah, that popular. could be it. Um, I, I was going to say it's also, like, a lot of people, like, a lot of Let's Plays that people used to watch is, like, okay, well, uh, we're playing the game now, and there's some fire over here. We're going to hit the fire over <laughs> yeah. here, and then we're going to turn over here. Uh, and, like, yeah. just kind of, like, saying what's going on in mm, the game. And, like, yeah, that was one of the things with good. Pop that a lot of, that, like, not only when, like, we were in, uh, with the, the Fop people, but, like, even before then, like, one of the biggest criticisms that people gave other Let's Plays or feedback 
was that like just don't say what you're doing like you know yeah. talk about something more interesting yeah but a lot of people just kind of use let's Plays as an excuse to play video games if that makes sense and like have a community around it mm-hmm. rather than like trying to make something entertaining that's, for an audience fair enough yeah this is true They just in another eight now, looking for the uh, yep. the fortress. I'm, yep. I'm. I, to... I literally have been wandering in like the same like square for the past oh. while now, but that's okay. Oh, oh, oh. I, I'm going caving because I am out of iron, and uh, I pretty much think I have a battle plan. Actually, uh, you know what I'm gonna do? Actually, um, uh-huh. I think I. What do I have on me? I have a single iron sword. I think I'm just gonna say screw it. And I'm going to go on a different quest now. So <laughs> I want to do something different. So I'm just going to go jump off this cliff over here. Because I don't know where the portal is either. So I'm just going to go. Uh, here's some here's some nice looking lava. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, and my qu- I'm going to go on a quest for cake. For ca- okay. I need to make a cake. Uh, I, need to make a cake. Uh, I need to get that achieved. Well, I guess, right? Like I said, there, there is some chickens generally yeah. around. But uh, I'll let you go from there. We got some milk. Them. We got some sugar. Not enough sugar though, but there's sugar canes right here, so I have enough sugar. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I need eggs. the egg. Yeah. The egg. Eggs really the only thing that's an egg. Okay. Yeah. So are all. Do I only have a single thing of iron? Oh no, I have the whole stack over here. I'm just an idiot. Okay. And then some wood would be nice. There we go. And then we'll do a little pickaxe over here. I'm not gonna get any armor or anything like that. Because I don't need it when I'm just no, going no, around no. the overworld. You get say a sword, that. sword, and then get a little boy over here, and that's all I really need. I don't need anything else. I'll get the bring some blocks though. That'd be good. Refresh my memory. Do you watch Rick and Morty? Oh yeah, oh, that yeah. recent seventh episode. Like wow. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought I thought it was really good. Uh, not not so much laugh wise though, but uh, no, but I, I, I plot the thing, wise there was, was a lot of subtle. Uh, stuff that w- they were doing mm-hmm. there though that was really good like um uh I'm, i don't know just like I, I, like there were really small jokes i can't think of any specific examples yeah. right off the top of my head yeah. but there's some small jokes there that were just like really really mm-hmm. like good Pleasure. and if you like pay attention and notice it's like wow that's pretty neat oh i should probably get some torches too <laughs> that's pretty end. neat but uh um yeah after that episode aired and um I, I don't normally watch like clips here and there but uh, a clip popped up my recommended um more uh more or evil morty's like theme song i don't mm-hmm. know if you like listen to that song like closely but like that song's actually really good like really yeah. good <laughs> yeah I, like listen to a cool piano cover on it and i was impressed I yeah it's a really good song all right i am stuck between a skeleton and a hard rock we'll go with the- Right there. I just realized that you can put torches on fence posts, and I'm sure that was an addition that's been there for like ages. Yeah, but, like, it's been there for I, a while. Now, now I gotta light up my little garden here before heading out on my little <laughs> track. I probably shouldn't go out at night, but like whatever. Oh, it's a horsey! I need to get a <laughs> saddles. Work, normal saddles work on horses, right? Yes. I'm I'm going on a horse ride. That's all I'm doing. I'm that's going, that's uh... my life right now. Do it. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. Iron horse armor. That's not a saddle, though. Do I have a saddle? Uh, you I can only get it from I... dungeons or I fishing. Thought I had one. I thought I had one. Apparently not. Okay. Well, no horse ride for me. Sad. Sad. Oh, well. Oh, hey, it's an ender boy. Ender boy. Yeah, I was going to say you should uh, look for those because those would be very helpful. Oh, my God. I'm so dead. It'd be really helpful in the end game that I'll never get to. Well, you could do it. I believe in you. <laughs> Oh my god. I run off for two seconds and I almost die. My god. Um, okay. No. Nope. Enderman killed me, but that's okay. <laughs> it's right over here. Uh, I'll just go grab my stuff. And do then... you just uh, run at him? Do you know how? Do you know the good way to find them? Uh, S- no. <laughs> if you stand beneath, since they're three blocks tall, if you, if you like create a little platform that's only two blocks high. You could attract them to you and then just like kill them without getting hit. But make sure you know it's not like I do like a three by three thing because they can reach right. pretty far. Right. But uh, they're yeah they can kill you pretty easily. Even like full iron, even like full diamond, like you die pretty quickly to them. Be careful! It's dangerous to not go alone. 
Oh, I got him. God, did you get the uh, the pearl? Oh, the sound. Yeah, I got the pearl. There's a sound. Good. There's a sound. It's scary. <laughs> the Enderman sound. Yeah. It is. It is pretty scary. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'll be good. <laughs> I'll live. Here's another boy. Oh, there's a skeleton next to him. Oh no, there's a skeleton next to him. Bro. Gotta get the skeleton. Skeleton's almost like more, like worse than the the Enderman in a way. Yeah. Skeletons are te poopy. Right. Spooky. Thanks, Sambo. Oh god, you scared me. <laughs> I don't know why that scared me. For it scared me. Your voice is very spooky. Um, I also got, uh, um, uh, Samus Returns yesterday. Yeah, I, I saw that you were streaming yeah. it. That's really my first Metroid game I've played. Well, I played Prime 3, but I gave up on it pretty quickly. I really do not lost. like Prime 3. Yeah. I don't like Prime 2 either, though. I don't like, I don't, like, Prime 1 was so <laughs> good. And then, like, I played Prime 2, I'm like, nah, bro. Yeah. And then, like, Prime 3 came out. Uh, Prime 3, because, oh, I didn't come out. Like, I bought the trilogy, right? Right. Um, but then I just started playing Prime 3, and I was like, nah. Yeah, I didn't, well, I didn't really get far enough to even, I, th I really just, like, got lost, and I had, like, a, you know, it's like, you know, you go through that game, you get to a dead end, then you're supposed to go back and backtrack and do other things, but there's just so many points, where it's like, there's so many things you have to remember, but, uh, I'm really enjoying, like, the hour and a half I put into it yesterday of, uh, Samus Returns, it's really good. Yeah, I think that the 2D Metroids in some way, it, like, it depends on how it's laid out, I think, mm -hmm. but I think sometimes, like, a the benefit of making a game in 2D is that it's a bit more accessible in some yeah, ways. Yeah, definitely. Uh, because, like, we take it for granted, but, like, moving around in the 3D space in a video game is, like, it's not yeah. the most intuitive thing. No, it's, uh, yeah, I, like, it's, plus there's, like, I don't know, there's so many spots, like, you just hide stuff, and I think that could be, like, very frustrating. Freaking gold armor, uh, gold armor skeleton right here. Uh-huh. What is his problem? <laughs> He got oh, where's I'm bling. I'm dead. This uh -oh. is fun though. Like just going out, recovering my stuff, and just fighting dudes is fun. Oh, we're back here. I swear, eventually I'll get cake. Maybe. Get um. Cake. What's that? Nothing. But yeah, I've heard great things about it, so I'll eventually get it. Uh, my thing is that uh, um, I've pre-ordered except for the Mario Party game that they just announced at the Nintendo Direct. Right. Um. Uh, other than uh -oh. that, I pre-ordered every Mario game that was coming out for the rest of the year, which was like a lot of money. So, wow. uh, so with that, I was like, that, that's 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 all I can do right now. But then, mm -hmm. of course, I impulse bought Neo on PS4 like an idiot. I'm not uh, even sure what that is. It's um, it's made by Ninja Theory, but it's very Souls-like in its execution. Okay. Oh, poopy. I'm lost. I... When it came out, a lot of people were freaking out over how like good it was or whatever. And it's pretty good. I I, I liked. I really liked how um the intro worked. Like how the first level worked. Yes, I know that running towards the skeleton. Was <laughs> um, Congratulations. So no, I, I really liked it. I thought I think it's good so far. But I also haven't played that much of it because the first level, like the first actual level, is surprisingly like really, really, really hard. What's like the premises of the game? Uh, you're a samurai guy. There are these bad dudes. They're using this thing called Amrita, mm -hmm. which is like this super powerful whatever that give they'll give them moral power. Creeper's gonna blow up and kill me. Oh, um, that was not part of the plot. Um, it would be amazing if it was though. Yeah. Um. Um. So so they're using this thing called Amrita, which is gonna make them super powerful or whatever. Um. So. Um. You gotta go stop them. Um. And I mean, they, I'm guessing it. It seems like there's going to be more of a plot involvement. So it mm -hmm. seems like like every area you're in, it's going to like give you a reason why you're there, and like, oh, right. this is why. This is why you're here. This is what you need to do. And it's like, okay, interesting. Um, another really stupid game I got was Metopia recently. How's that? <laughs> it's really dumb, but in a really good way. Oh man, are you telling me the one item that I lost in at death was all of my <clears throat> torches that I just made with all um with like all of my sticks? Uh -huh. Okay, that's fine. That's Who better cares? to lose than like the pearl or whatever. Yo, I think I wait. Did I lose that? No, I I, lost, <laughs> I have the pearl. I have the pearl. We're good. 
Mother of Pearl! You need, you're gonna need hey, horsey. nine. Horsey! <clears throat> Mama? Mama Luigi? Mama Luigi! They did this, like, animated... Some people did this, like, animated collab thing. Mm -hmm. They, like, reanimated the Mama Luigi yeah. Super Mario. Yeah, I saw that. And it I was saw really that. good. I've never watched, like, the uh, original show, but I saw that, and I, uh... There's some definitely some amazing animations in there. Yeah. I, I went back and I think I want to say high, high school or maybe early college. I don't remember. Because, um, like, it, back in middle school, I watched Sonic X unironically. Right. Um, and that was, like, the, one of the only Sonic things that I... Like, so, the Sonic TV shows were the one aspect of Sonic that I didn't, like, utterly okay. despise. right. Um, that turned into a liking for the uh, Sonic comics, but they've since been discontinued. And also, like towards the end, it got really bad. Anyway, um, but um, uh, anyway, um, after that, then I was like, oh, I wonder if any other video game characters have good TV shows. And so that became that. That's when I found the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's like, like all of the Mario shows, all three of them are. Bad in the best possible way. <laughs> Good bad. Yeah. Right. So like the Super Mario Brothers Super Show is like it's probably like the the best question mark mm -hmm. because it it not only probably truest to the original formula although they they do like kind of combine Mario One Mario Two Mario uh, Mario One and Mario Two into like one entity so it's like all of the all of Wart's minions from Super Mario Two right. are Bowser's minions in Mario One and they they use a lot of like the throwing sound effects from Mario Two when they throw things yeah, that's which good. It, yeah. which nowadays you wouldn't associate with Mario but it's kind of like they combine yeah, the two things back then like, it was. That, those are the only two bits of Mario that we really knew, aside from Mario Bros. Like the arcade game. Mm -hmm. So it's like it makes sense, um, and I and I liked it. Um, Mario Three. It's called The Adventures of Super Mario Brothers Three, and that show is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> so there's this one episode of the Super Mario Super Show because they they advertise it as Mario and Luigi are from Brooklyn, right? Yep. Um, so. Uh, there's this one episode when uh, Luigi, uh, Mar and Luigi are like, "Now nah, we don't belong in the Mushroom Kingdom. We want to go back home to Brooklyn." <laughs> but then they go back for like, they, they, there's this whole journey of them going back. And then when they get back for like ten minutes, they're like, "Nah, this is stupid." And then they go back and they just realize that like, they were they were like, you know, not really giving credit to the the cool people they know in the Mushroom Kingdom or whatever, right? And it was like pretty good, pretty mm -hmm. standard, but pretty good. Mario three, like. A surprising number of episodes take place in this real world. Right. So what happens right. is, is you got Bowser and you got the Koopalings, and the Koopalings all have different names because the show was conceived before the game was made, so oh, they didn't have the names at the time. So, like for example, Wendy is called Cootie Pie, K O O T I E T I E P I E. Wow, amazing! And like really dumb names like that, right? It was basically ba entirely based off of their visual aesthetic. <clears throat> um. So, um. Anyway, point being, so um, a lot of the episodes took place in the real world. So it was all. So like, there are a bunch of episodes that were like, oh, this this one Koopaling's going into the real world and going to take over the city or whatever, and then Mario and Luigi go and stop him or whatever. There's also one episode where Luigi accidentally goes into the real world and turns into a dog. <laughs> wow. I like, believe that one's called Life's Rough. Just just by going into the real world, or do you? Get, I think like... it was like a Koopaling or a Magic oh, Koopa or something like that. Yeah, right. Like he was he was in the real world accidentally, and they're like, "Oh, now you're trapped in the real world because you're a dog." Ah! And then he figured it out and like how, fixed it. And it's, how very uh, wonky. Yeah. So okay. that one is definitely. I would say that one's the worst, um, just because of how stupid it is. But like it, once again, it's bad in the best possible yeah. way. There's like one episode, and you can tell the episode's like targeted towards you know little kids, right? Yeah. It was, it was the episode was called Seven Continents for Seven Koopas, so it was like each Koopaling got a continent of the real world. So it was like kind of a, a device to teach kids about all the continents. Right. Wow. I feel bad um, for the one that got Antarctica. I don't remember who got Antarctica. <laughs> I think they like really wanted Antarctica for some reason. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're, we're at um, about 25 minutes, by the way. So if you wanna. Okay, yeah, we can call it here, and then we'll do one or two more. I don't know how many. We'll more, figure it'll it out. Be fine. We'll figure it out later. Goodbye, everybody. Later. Welcome back to the Minecraft versus podcast. Next time. <laughs> bye bye. We talk. We will not talk. We'll stop talking. No more talking. <gasps> Diamonds. Yeah, the silent episode next time.
Bye.